Hi, this is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm in San Jose at the Search Engine Strategies Convention and talking with Bruce Clay, one of the leaders in the field of search engine optimization. Bruce, uh, several years ago you came up with a concept that I think is vital, particularly for larger sites, called siloing. So uh, before we talk about that, what are the kind of problems you see on websites that, that get them in trouble and rankings that just aren't there? Okay. Um, the problem I saw and what, what really prompted the concept of siloing is that websites are not able to be a subject matter expert if they're talking about everything. They're, they mix things up to the point where they're not about any of them. Too many things in the one jar. So we wanted to come up with a way that would allow the content to be a subject matter expert clearly down to three word phrases or four word phrases. Um, the search engines, as you know, 58% of all queries are three or more words. Well, we want to rank for those. Okay. And people would mix so many concepts up within their website without it being clearly delineated they talk about every subject on every page, they cross-link every page. Basically, the entire site became gray instead of a whole bunch of colors. And so siloing was really an, ad an attempt to address the fact that the problem that the websites had is that they didn't establish that they were a subject matter expert at a level of granularity appropriate to the query. Okay. So what is a silo? Well. Let me give you a, a picture. If you've ever driven through the Midwest, yes, and you have these long stretches of roads with nothing but farmland, three miles ahead you can see the silos, the grain silos sticking up. Yeah. You can see them from anywhere. So what we did is we said we want themes to be as visible to a search engine. We want them to clearly see at a distance what I'm about and that we are experts on that particular subject. So that's where the name came from. What a silo is within a website is it's a concentration of theme-centric information that is at a level of granularity appropriate to the query. So it's uh, able to be uh, hierarchical, it's able to be focused, but if you're talking about Ford Mustangs, that's not the place to describe your Jaguar. Okay, so what are the benefits of siloing that you've seen? Significant. Uh, the search engine certainly will start ranking you for multi-word phrases, much, much better. Uh, so if you wanted to rank for Ford Mustang, you have to silo for Ford Mustang. If you're the subject matter expert, you're going to be well received. If you have the ability to receive inbound links, you have the ability to outrank your competition by putting the link juice on the pages that matter. And that's a, that's a really big part of it. The other part is that your site is almost inherently easier to understand and follow by end users. Conversion rates generally go up. We've seen pretty consistently 30 plus percent jumps in traffic yeah. at all kinds of traffic levels. Now I've implemented, I, I have a site that covers internet marketing, but Within that site, there are a bunch of sub-disciplines. Yes. And so that I can rank high for some of those sub-disciplines, I've implemented many of the techniques that we're going to be talking about. However, <laughs> to talk about those, we're going to have a part B and to tell how to do this. But right. before we do that, Bruce, tell me about your business and what you do. Well, uh, we do internet marketing. Yes. Funny how that works. Uh, but we are very focused on a general classification around the word optimization. So fundamentally across my site, we're focused on optimization. We do SEO, pay-per-click, analytics. Uh, we do web architecture, siloing is a sample of that. A very good sample of that. And we do branding work, uh, press releases, social media, things like that. Well, Bruce, thanks for sharing with us. We'll cover this more deeply in the how-to, which is the second part in this series. Sounds great. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing.